proposal. Unit A2 should state her intentions. Stop! My intention is to beat the hell out of every goddamn machine I can find. Is that enough for you? Affirmative. Scanning and marking of nearby machine life forms complete. Goliath class enemies detected in desert area. Proposal. Goliath class enemies should be destroyed. Don't tell me what to do. Pods are not authorized to issue commands. Proposals are merely recommendations based on data provided by Unit A2. Proposal. Unit A2 should state updated intentions in order to secure more usable data. Shut the hell up. Negative. This pod is engaging in activity based on the final order of Unit 2B. Yorha Unit A2 lacks the authority to issue commands. Look, just stay out of my way. Affirmative. <laughs> All right, and with that, how's everyone doing of Keeper Sorry? And we are back with some more Nia Automata. In the last part, we uh, uh, carried on with Chapter C, and oh my god, it was uh, it was not good really. Um, found out that 2B got infected with the logic virus thing, and so unfortunately 2B kicked the bucket, and oh my god, we are getting attacked. But it is fine, because we can kick some ass right here. Uh, but yeah, 2B got, well, she kicked the bucket, and uh... 9S now believes that it was us that killed 2B, but it wasn't. Well, it sort of was, but it wasn't. I mean, because she was going to die anyway, but, uh... Yeah, that is not what 9S saw, so, uh... Yeah, he's probably going to want to kill us at some point, I imagine. So, uh, isn't that going to be fun? It's too slow for me, Miss, so... So, uh, anyway, unfortunately, the, uh... Commentary for the first, like... Eight minutes or so of this is gonna be post commentary instead of live because I was I was not fortunate enough to uh, have a good PC. <laughs> no, my PC is just really temperamental and it was uh, it was unfortunate. It crashed on me just as I got to the boss fight in the desert. So uh, so yeah, I was uh, I was pretty unlucky. Thankfully, I did a quick save in the desert so I didn't lose anything and thankfully my recording up till then saved unlike my audio for some reason the the uh, the audio the commentary didn't save but um, the video did so hey I'm thankful I didn't lose the video or we would have really been screwed and I'd have had to have gone back and read on the whole of the last part as well so I'm I'm very thankful that the uh, the video stayed at least because I literally quick saved and then the game, well, my PC crashed. So uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty bad. Anyway, it was. Uh, I'm just showing off the taunt now, I think, because uh, we have we can taunt now with uh, A2. They make it a lot more easier to taunt enemies rather than uh, clicking in the left thumbstick to uh, you know flash pod in their faces 20 billion times before they get enraged. So yeah, that's that's pretty good. I like that aspect of A2. It's a lot more easier, but at the same time, it means we miss out on a uh, on an attack. So uh, hey, but uh, yeah, as soon as we um, we get to the desert, I think I'll I'll cut into when I actually go back to live commentary because oh man, you know what? PCs, man, who'd have them? Eh? Who'd have a goddamn PC in this day and age when they don't goddamn work? I. The worst thing about my PC is it's actually not bad. It's got relatively good specs, but for whatever reason, it loves to give me a blue screen in regards to... I don't... well, I don't actually know why it gives me the blue screen. It always gives me the same shit about Windows has encountered an error, or an unexpected error. I have sent it back to the place I got it from. They told me there was nothing wrong with it, and I was like, how the fuck can you tell me there's nothing wrong with it when it's giving me blue screens? Um, for the longest time, I couldn't use Photoshop. So I couldn't do my thumbnails or anything without it crashing. Um, it was only until I had to find a quick workaround that I managed to actually... Uh, yeah, well, I managed to find a workaway around it, and then I could use Photoshop. It basically meant I had to disable one of the cores while I was using Photoshop so that it wouldn't crash. And then, uh, 
even then it was still temperamental. Like, it allowed me to do thumbnails, but anything longer than, like, I don't know, 30 minutes, boom. It, it could crash at any moment, so, uh, yeah. And it's not just the applications either, it was like the whole entire PC. It was like a hard freeze. It was a real pain in the buns. And, uh, yeah, using Sony Vegas, that was another one because... I don't use Sony Vegas anymore, I use Adobe Premiere Pro uh, because I can actually benefit from faster now. renders through my graphics card, whereas uh, Sony Vegas doesn't actually um, benefit. It doesn't like get an advantage or anything with render time, so I'll put it like this. Rendering a 30 minute video in Sony Vegas would take, with the settings I was using, would take roughly, I don't know, at 30 frames per second, it would probably take about 40 minutes to render out, which doesn't seem that bad. But if you look back at um, some of the older videos, you'll notice that there's a load of pixelation, a load of blurry uh, blurry scenes on action, action scenes, and it was just really bad for rendering. But I never really, I never realised that until it was too late to be honest and then I was like well I've, I've got no other way of rendering this out like relatively fast. Every other way to render out took like over an hour for a 30 minute video and that was only at 30 FPS. So yeah it was uh, really really slow. But uh, Adobe Premiere Pro was actually a fucking lifesaver for me because it meant I could it meant I could uh, render things out a lot faster and without having to actually sacrifice any video quality. Like, pretty much the the video file that I have is more or less the same quality as what is generally going to be uploaded to YouTube. And yeah, the the time difference is just... the time and render difference, difference is like just minimal. So, rendering a 30 FPS video in uh, Premiere Pro for me probably took, I don't know, about half the time of the length of the video but then the 60 FPS is about, I don't know, 5 to 10 minutes longer than the video so it's it's doable, it's way more easier for me to do 60 FPS videos than it could have possibly been in Sony Vegas. So uh, yeah, PCs man, who'd have them? What a load of shit eh? Anyway, we're actually coming up to when I um, come to the save point now, so I think any second now I will probably just cut ahead to when I get to the save point and uh, start from there, so uh, yeah, I'll uh, catch you all on the flip side when this turns into a live commentary, so I'll see you all in a second. Alright, I'm back everyone, I'm sorry for that cut right there. Uh, my PC decided to crash. <laughs> I am, I am lucky in the fact that it kept the recording, but it completely fucked my audio. So uh, I'm going to have to do some post commentary on this part, I think. Um, and I'm also going to have to redo everything that just happened before this boss fight. So these enemies right here are going to pop up. That I can deal with. Let's try and get through this fast, because man, that really sucked. That is really, really sucky. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna wreck these ones. I've just... Oh, man. You know what I've just realized? I can't fire pod, and I can't charge this at the same time. Oh, man. That didn't matter anyway. He just got destroyed. I don't think so, mister. We're gonna fuck you up, too. Oh god, these are getting absolutely annihilated. Woo! They are all blowing up right here. Slice and dice him. Okay, there we go. Level up. Okay, let's hope my PC does not crash again. Let's get all the goods first. It 
appears to be a machine life form. All right, boss fight time. So. Couldn't agree more with you, Pod. Let's uh, use some of these bad boys again. Make things more uh, easier for us, I think. Ouch. I don't know if that's doing any damage or not. Oh my god. Holy oh, shit. Doing a lot of damage. Okay, we took two, two gigantic balls down. Yeah, you heard me right, folks. Oh god, I need to heal. Oh, there's one still down. No, 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 no. I want to attack that one. Oh, wait. Berserker mode? What the fuck? Oh! Oh, what is this shit? Oh my god. I am a god right now and I don't know how. I think I'm taking more damage though doing this. Yeah, I am definitely taking more fucking damage. Oh wait, no, no, no. It's not that I take more damage. Oh dear god. Which is equipped with helpful long range attack features. Don't patronize me. Yeah, it might have given me a boost in like attack and everything, but oh my god, it was draining my HP. Oh! Oh my god. Get the fuck out, man. How is this one not dead? Oh wait, it wants me to come over here. Is there something over here? Hmm, no, I don't think there is. I don't want to go in Berserker mode again, it was scary the last time. Oh sh- oh god! Oh, you know what? I think that's why. I think I'm damaging the boss slightly. Oh, you know what? I'm not attacking the ones that actually need to be attacked. There we go. This one here needs to die. Good. Oh, God. Woo! There we go. Yeah, you might be thankful that Pod's here next time. He's giving you useful advice. <laughs> oh my god, these things don't stop coming. What the fuck? Oh, there we go. Screw you. Oh no, we got another section. God damn. Oh god, have we been hacked by the... What's all this about? The hacking has caused the enemy's memories to merge with your own. Oh man. So we're merging with our enemy's memories. Okay. So that giant ass thing that we were just like killing is now trying to merge with us. Or at least our memories. And that's not a good thing. Okay. What the? This is a fragment of Unit 2B's memory data. It is an order she received from the Yorha commander when she was still alive. So we've got some 2B memories mixed in with us as well. God, we've got everyone poking around in our head, haven't we? Recognized as belonging to Yorha Unit 
two for self. Shut up and get out of my head already. <laughs> nope. The pod's playing mind games with us all. Pod's like, I'm gonna poke around in your head. Oh shit, I can only take one more hit. Bing 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 ding. Alright. This is going to be an ongoing theme, isn't it? Uh, A2 getting confused all the time and having hallucinations. Affirmative. Launching compressed conversation mode. <laughs> oh my god. This is going so fast. Conversation mode complete. Affirmative. Awaiting report on the effects of Unit 2B's memory data on Unit A2's self-consciousness. Understood. Updating as reference data for support activity. Does that mean, like, um... 2B's... memory data is gonna, like, uh... eventually overtake A2, or... What? Uh, we can either go to 9S or A2. I don't know who to go for. Can I just, like, stick with A2, or is it gonna... Is it gonna... make me play as 9S now? Oh, no, still gonna let me play. That's really weird. Good morning, A2. What the? Analysis. Your high unit A2 was restarted five minutes and 42 seconds ago. The cause was excessive strain due to battle against a large machine life form. All this goddamn sand is starting to piss me off. And I didn't even get any loot from it all. Deteriorating. Five particulate matter seems to have entered the filter while fighting in the desert. Proposal: replace the faulty part immediately. You make it sound so easy. Records indicate said part was once used at the resistance camp. The resistance camp. Oh, I remember. I remember that damn fuel filter. I guess we can just teleport there. Wait, why is Pascal's village greyed out? Oh, there's a few places that are greyed out, actually. Uh, okay. Well, let's go to, uh, the Resistance Camp. And off we go. So I'm kind of curious what the, if there's anything like actually different about the Berserker mode. If it's just increased damage or like uh, if there's some sort of special property to it. Alright. Oh wait. I thought it wanted me in the resistance camp. Oh, okay. There's. Oh, shit. Pascal's here. Are those machines fighting each other? And now I know why I couldn't go to Pascal's village. Thank you so much for saving me. No worries, Pascal. You're a machine too. Wait, please. I have no intention of harming you. My name is Pascal. And while it's true that I am a machine life form, I also detest fighting of any kind. 
Uh-huh. And machines don't have souls. They're just murder bots with a fancy name. They killed so many of us. And I swore to make them pay. Uh, I see. If that will save your soul, then so be it. Oh my god. If we destroy Pascal, are we going to get a different ending? You know what? I got an idea. I'm going to... Aren't going to kill me? No, I wanted to, to quick save. Before I change my mind. You... <laughs> Man, I was going to kill Pascal. I was going to quick save and kill him. <laughs> oh, you're lucky this time, Pascal. I was totally about to kill you if it let me quick save, but... Whatever, you lucked out this time. Anyway, let's see. Give me off your filter. Number two, you're still alive. Sorry, I haven't been in touch, Anemone. You survived, that's all that matters. Though I fear that all of your fighting companions are long gone. I had to kill number 21 with my own hands. I'm sorry. No, it's... Oh, that's right. Did you know there was a Yoha member here named 2B? That looked just like you. She's... she's dead. What? 2B is dead. I killed her. She was infected with a logic virus. Oh. That she was. Well, please make yourself at home in our camp. I'll have someone show you around. Not necessary. Her memories are contained in this sword. I see. You can go ahead and use her old room then. I'm in charge of the camp here. I'll make sure to tell everyone about you. Thank you very much. Yay, new room. Uh, I guess I could take a break, but I don't want to. I guess I should go talk to her again. I wanna know what like <laughs> What? Is that all? <laughs> These taunts are well funny. Oh oops, I didn't want to do that. It's over. Alright. Uh I wonder can we like buy new stuff actually while we're here? Oh man, this dude's out of a fuel filter. Hey, well, let me trade with him, damn it. God, can I not trade with anyone? Oh, you bastards. All you, wanna, all you dudes care about is a fuel filter. I just want more stuff. I've got a question for you. Any chance you could spare a fuel filter? A fuel filter? I'm afraid our supply recently ran out. Pascal makes them for us, so you could go pick one up directly if you'd like. Pascal? You know him? Oh my god, it's a him? Man, I was calling it a her last time. Oh well. I guess you learn something new every day. Pascal is now a man. You trade with the enemy? His village is different. They've never caused us any harm. No way. Forget it. This may be hard to understand, but we forged an alliance and trade materials when the need arises. We can't be picky about how we reach our goals around here. And besides, we aren't so far gone that we kill machine lifeforms after they surrender. <laughs> well, A2 just decided that she would kill a infant machine, so, uh, yeah. Man, A2's got a right stick up her ass, isn't she? She is just not pleasable. Alright, well... Oh wait, you know what? Maybe if I can go to the attraction park, then... Yeah, I'll go to the attraction park and then just run from there. That's probably going to be quicker, I reckon. I'm really confused now. I don't know how long this part's going to be because of how screwed over I got when the uh, game decided to... Uh, well, when my PC decided to crash. It wouldn't have been an issue, but it's the audio. I'm going to have to re-record my audio for the like first eight minutes. Or maybe seven minutes. I really kick myself for quick saving now when I did, because if I didn't quick save, then I could have literally just... Oh, shit. What the fuck? Oh. 
Oh, they got creepy mouths. Oh, oh. <laughs> but yeah, if I didn't, uh, if I didn't quick save, then I could have just redone the whole part from scratch, and it would have been none the wiser. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? Well, uh, this, uh, this place is certainly more creepy than I remember it. There's no nice music here either. Zombie machine, please die. No, oh, fuck you. I wanna go, I'm not gonna die. Yeah, we got a broken circuit. 200 G's obtained. Okay. Got that bit of, like, city coming out of the ground, like in the background. It's so creepy. It is definitely part of the copied city. I'm wondering, were the machines trying to make their very own city, like trying to imitate humans again in that res in that regard, or like what? I guess we'll get more answers about it, but... There's a quest here. Don't tell me. You heard the tales of a genius inventor and came to see me straight away, yes? Quite, I'm sure of it. Yes, yes. After all, I am the genius who's whose very name makes the earth itself tremble. It was this dude that was making the earth tremble. Coming to me for advice proves a keen mind and stout heart. Yes. Why, if you invest, invest, invest but a little in my efforts, I shall provide you with all the desires of your imagining. Well then, care to invest in my life's work? How much can we invest in him? Because I got quite a few Gs. Joy, elation. I'd not thought myself capable of such. And just between you and I, know that if you provide an, enough of an investment, I'll be able to provide certain dividends in return. Let's just give him 20, 20k. Very, very wise, oh, very wise, very wise. A shrewd investor knows to strike when the iron is hot, eh? I look forward to a fruitful working relationship in the future. Quite. Two days later. Give me the goods, man. Give me the, give me the goods. Eureka! I've done it. Feast eyes and senses alike upon my new invention. Are you kidding me? This is a load of shit. We've got a meteorite to sell, I guess. Alas, but sadly, the staggering work of a genius has exhausted my funding. Uh, I guess we can invest again. Let's see, okay. Come on, give me something good, dude. Okay. Choice sachet. Huh, okay. After all, I'm nothing without you, is this true? Oh, wait. Do we only need, do we really only need to like invest a little bit? Let me just see what he actually gave us. Uh, he gave us a Choice sachet, a pouch that emits a scent animals love causes them to approach and wait for you. Oh, does that mean we can actually ride animals without without needing like a uh, bait or anything? That's what I'm guessing. Okay, let's let's invest a little bit more. Okay, let's see what else can he give us. I'm sure he's gonna give us some good stuff. Oh, crushed no dented plate. I'm gonna invest. I'm gonna invest up to 100k in this dude, and if he doesn't give me anything else that's good, then I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Charge attack plus three. Okay. Oh wait, no, I've no, no, no. I don't want to invest anymore. Oh, oh, he's already. Oh, I don't know what's happening anymore. A launch tower for sending rockets to the very moon itself. And while the craft it launched did soar into the lofty darkness of outer space, it regrettably did not reach the moon. Instead, it landed on Mars. It's also damn damnably frustrating. I am the world's foremost genius, after all. Never before have I sipped the bitter brew of defeat. Oh wait, he's got a shop for us now. What? 
Still, all is not lost. I'll gladly sell you some of the materials the rocket carried back from that red and desolate planet. Ooh! Alien mask. Man, that looks creepy. And a meteorite shard. Uh. Hmm. Maybe I can sell some stuff. I think I actually have some, like, uh, machine cores and whatnot that I can probably sell. Oh my god, I got too much stuff here. Uh. Okay. Oh, God, I've... Whoa, what the fuck? They sell for 22k on this, dude. Holy shit. Oh, my God, I'm so rich right now. Is there anything else? I guess not. Hmm. I just wanted to see if that charge thing was doing anything. There's machines everywhere. Analysis. This is a colony of pacifistic machine life forms led by the unit known as Pascal. It is logical for a large number of machine life forms to be present. This pod has concerns regarding your high unit A2's predictive <laughs> I'd be more concerned about me smashing your face if I were you. Hey, you'd be nice to pod. Pod's done nothing wrong here other than talk a bit too much. But uh, anyway, I think this is probably going to be a good time to uh, to stop right here because we have reached Pascal's village and I now have a big mission on my hand trying to, uh, <laughs> trying to, uh, God, I can't talk. Trying to, f to fix the mess that the start of this episode is probably going to be due to my PC crashing. So uh, yeah, with that said, I will see you all in the next episode. If you enjoyed this one, please feel free to thumbs it up and yeah, take care guys and peace.